It's a race to the finish line for the presidential candidates with just 11 days left to go until Election Day. Both of them held evening rallies. Former President Donald Trump focused on a key swing state while Vice President Kamala Harris is campaigning in Texas. Fox's Connor Hansen compares their final day strategies. Former President Donald Trump kicking off one of his final weekends before Election Day, rallying in Battleground, Michigan. This week, two new surveys show Trump behind by three points among likely Michigan voters. Ahead of Friday evening's rally, the Republican nominee spent the afternoon in Texas talking border security alongside Senator Ted Cruz. We're doing well in all seven states. Every one of those swing states we're doing well in. And we're doing really well here, but we expect that. Then sitting for an interview with the popular podcaster, Joe Rogan. Well, listen, with Joe Rogan, who knows? It could be everything. Both Joe Rogan and, and Donald Trump are unplugged. But the presidential candidates aren't unplugging from their busy schedules anytime soon. Vice President Kamala Harris, also in Texas, holding a star-studded rally of her own. Well, it's good to be in Texas. Sadly, um, the elected leaders of Texas, a lot of them, have made Texas ground zero in this fundamental fight for the freedom of women to make decisions about their own body. Like Trump, the vice president is also headed to Michigan next, where she'll hold a rally Saturday with former First Lady Michelle Obama. As for the former president, he's heading to Pennsylvania, then wraps up Sunday with a rally here in New York City at Madison Square Garden. In New York, Connor Hansen, Fox 13 News.